Hey everybody, this is Dimitri Pargamonic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could use a stocks options chain to get insights on the implied volatility and option volume. And we're going to use SPY options chain in this example. I'm going to scroll down and here we have the options chain for SPY. On the left hand side, we see the different option expirations that are available for SPY. And next to it, we have the at the money implied volatility. So you could see that as the uh, as we go further out in expiration, the implied volatility is increasing. We also see the change of on the day. So today, SPY was up on the day, and we could see that as the stock climb, implied volatility came in on every expiration going down. Um, Next to it, we see the option volume that traded on that particular expiration. So the that option that expires today looks like it traded 3.26 million options. And that looks like it's the highest uh, volume out of all the expirations. If you click on a particular expiration, let's say we go out to this August 18th. If we click on it because we're interested to see what happened, click on that and, you, and you'll see to the right hand side that we're going to get the options chain for that expiration. And now we have on the left hand side the call options, on, on the right hand side the put options. We have the prices for those strikes. And next to it, we see the implied volatility bid and the implied volatility ask for each option. And this allows us to see visually the skew as well, because as you see, when we go up in strikes, the implied volatility for each of these options looks like it's going lower and lower until you hit those very high strikes where then those tails start to come up. If we go to the downside strikes from here, these are that the monies, we see that the implied volatility increases as we go lower and lower in strikes. So this looks like um, there is a skew in the implied volatility as the as the strikes go lower, the implied volatility is increasing. As the strikes go higher, the implied volatility is decreasing. And next to each option, we see the volume that traded on that option. So here, on the 450 call, next to it, we see 15,766 contracts traded. And as you see, and, and on the other side, these are the puts. So if we wanted to look at the 450 strike put, we see 12,473 contracts traded on that strike. And this lets us really quickly scan and see where the volume is at where it's concentrated, where there's a lot of interest potentially um, by looking at the corresponding volume for each option contract. And if we wanted to quickly uh, reference the most active options in the, this expiration, we could just click on here, most active call and put. And when we click on there, we see that the 484 call traded 42,900. So on the call side, we see the most active call. And then on the put side, there's a highlighted uh, 445 strike. So that traded 15,696 contracts. So that's a really quick way to use the options chain to start um, getting insights on the implied volatility and the volume that's trading in that particular stock. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys next time.